this hydrant is too high. What you see in these animations are what happens to a fire hydrant hit by a vehicle. This hydrant is too low. The important issue is where was the brake flange located? This hydrant is just right. The brake flange feature of a hydrant was invented in 1960. Shortly after its initial introduction, virtually all manufacturers of hydrants adopted the feature. The reason for the rapid transition to this feature was it helped allow the separation of the top portion of a hydrant and the buried portion, thus enabling an easy economic repair with no loss of water. This hydrant is too high. This hydrant is too low. This hydrant is just right. In order for the brake flange to perform, the brake flange should be located at or near grade. In order to encourage the proper location of the brake flange, most manufacturers of hydrants identify a berry line directly beneath the brake flange. It is very important that the outer brake flange and the internal connection of the stem be located at the grade point. Oftentimes, when extensions are used to raise a hydrant to grade, the internal connection remains below grade, which might cause a malfunction to the feature. There are several solutions that enable a hydrant to be installed at grade. A. Install a hydrant that is exactly the height required to enable the hydrant to be at or near grade. B. If a hydrant needs to be raised, the use of a hydrant extension might work, but care should be given to use the proper extension and make sure it is installed whereby the internal stem connection and the outside brake flange are both positioned level to each other. Or C, grade lock can be used. It will allow positioning to ensure the hydrant's brake flange and the internal connection are located at grade. On this particular installation, in order to place the brake flange at grade, it was necessary to utilize a grade lock to lower the hydrant, so the brake flange was at grade where it can be effective.